Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich. The people behind us have paid the price of admission to watch a lot of things in a hockey game, but one thrilling part of it is scoring goals. And we have a guy that's done it the best. Not easy to score goals, Doc. And when he's on the ice, you better be aware because he's got the opportunity and the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Let's look at the starting netminders. This man's the choice for the crease tonight. He's earned the confidence of his coaches night in and night out, and thus he gets this start for the home team. This man's the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the visitors. It's a wonderful night for hockey. Our game is underway with that faceoff. Big drive, gloved. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Gains the blue line. And he fires. Nearly grazed the iron on that. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. The Admirals up the wing, luck the puck. Please it. Missed the net. A cover and play is stopped. Play is stopped, and so we have a chance to hear from Ray Ferraro. Oh, Doc, you know, you can't get too far into any matchup without discussing the goaltending, and that, of course, is going to have a great deal to do with who wins tonight's contest. But so much of the game is played in the small areas of the ice. You need puck support, you need to be physical, and then when you get puck support and puck possession, how quickly can you get it to a scoring area? Score! Boy, they're on the board early, aren't they? It's not necessarily how hard you shoot it, but where you shoot it, and that was perfectly placed. Well, the goalie can only shake his head. He feels he should stop every shot on the glove side. He doesn't get to this one. Toledo's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Oh, that was close. Wonderful block. Good job holding that one in. Point blank shot. Great point blank save. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is up. Walleye's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Penalty to number Quick work on the faceoff. Oh, deflected away. Shoots one. Give that goalie credit for another. And he clears it. Case closed. Norfolk's up the wing, setting things up. Oh, and what a great job of getting it out. In all alone. Oh, what a stop. Norfolk's in their own end and on the move. Gets in. What'll he do? A chance to clear. Solid neutralized poke check. Rounded again. That pass tipped away by the opposition. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. Cleared back out. Some more players can spill over the boards. We're going to get a penalty. It's a delayed call. The Admirals have their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. Toledo's minor is a cross-checking two-minute penalty. As you see clearly, the player lifts up his hands with his stick and causes separation from the player's back, cross-checking him and knocking him down. It's a five on three, it's a power play, and it's a chance to do some damage. Clean win on the draw. Time of the penalty. Toledo's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. 
Can he generate something? Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Lifts it back out. Pressure off for now. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. One into another. That's what we love about this game. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Toledo's got two on this one for tripping. Norfolk special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. That hits somebody. 47 seconds. What a tremendous bit of anticipation. The terrific love save. Dished off by the goalie and almost into trouble. Outstanding job taking the pressure off. The Admirals continue on at center. Let's it go. Off his glove. Shot on. The shot is off. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Taken over again. The Admirals look to make a difference up the wing. Fires. Lightning in that glove. Cleared back out. This will force him to drop back a lot. Norfolk's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. Toledo's penalty kill has been terrific and well tested. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. It's dumped in. Oh, look at this. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Nicely into the zone. Broken stick, couldn't take it. Can he make him chase it? The Admirals power play. Score! And the game is even. Goalie made the initial stop, but those quick hands speed him on the rebound. Oh, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Edzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scorer can grab it. They've won the faceoff. That's what goal. He'll pay for that. Whoa, now in the code, that means there might be something going on here. At least one guy's hot. This is not the first time we've seen this in this game. The teams have coincidental minor penalties. Great job by the official. He's taking control of the game, offsetting penalties on both sides. Walleye's got that one. Now what? That one dropped back into the opposite corner. Norfolk's in their own end, setting things up. Hammer, great save. Wow, what a save there, Doc. Up the wing, making some headway. Not a free puck now. It's an onside play. Ripper! Snaps one in there. And that one turned aside. The Admirals have control of the puck in the defensive zone. And he steps in. Hammers one. He scores. A pair of goals by the same team. When you're an offensive player and you have that much time, you're allowed to take that big, heavy slap shot. Fortunately for the offensive team, they're rewarded with a big goal. Under nine minutes remaining here in the period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. And then by number 33. Around through the corner. What a ripper! Seven seconds. To Birschbach. Nicely into the zone. Shoots one. Great glove save. The Admirals continue on in the defensive zone. Let's it go. And now it's directed to Birschbach. Fires. What a terrific save. 
shoots. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Brought a hit towards center. Onside. Let's it go. Good pad stop. Good pad save. A quick turnover. Paddle to side. Picks it up in his own end. And he steps across the line. He missed the net. I know that shot just missed the net, but that thing was moving. Looking for options up the wing. Good place to shoot from. Oh, what a save that was. Oh, what a wonderful block that was. Still no shot. A drive. Big save there. Norfolk's in possession now as they move up the wing. On the half boards, picked off. Breakaway, not there. Good grab again. That play went offside. So often a player will slide to block a shot. Part of that is because you're out of position. This block standing up is textbook. A little under three minutes still to play in this period. The Admirals have a one goal lead. They recently broke the tie. Gets across, looks over his options. That one is pointed to him. Save! Well, there's a little bit of a luck involved there. The goalie was screened on a play. He couldn't see it. But he stopped it. Goes to the backhand. Padded away. And he hammers one. In the first period. And they are in. Puts one on. Feeds the point. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. Not a big deficit to make up, just one goal. Our game is in the middle period, and it's underway right now. To Peary. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. And the pickup. Offside stops the clock. Toledo's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league. While he can score off the rush, his most dangerous weapon is that quick release. Walleye's got another face-off win. And he picks it up. Scrum over, puck kicked. The Admiral starting back in their own end. Snapping a pass to Peary. Fires a shot. Great stick save. What do we have here? Oh, a penalty shot. No hesitation at all, Doc, by the official to make the penalty shot call on the trip from behind on the attacking player on the breakaway. Everyone, even we, are standing. The referee spotted it. He can't do that, so there's no shot. After he missed that chance, I looked over at the bench, and the look on the players' faces were priceless. Toledo's got a face-off win. Moving it to Birschbach. He gains the zone. Has it back deep. Shoots one. Oh, a save there. The Admiral's waiting back in the defensive zone. And quickly to Peary. He's alone. He scores. Second of the game. What a performance. He looked to be cherry picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. It looked to me like he had stopped this shot. He had a big chunk of it, but it worked its way into the net. Norfolk's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. 
The Admirals get it off the faceoff. Has it picked up? Four minutes, 45 seconds. Norfolk's moving the puck in their own end. He's in on an onside play. With a shot, and it's turned aside. Never satisfied, never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Face-off win here. Fantastic shutdown. Got it in his own end. Gets in, looks over his options here. Just couldn't find the target. Snaps a wrister. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Shoots one. Outstanding save with a glove. That was all positioning right into his glove. Glanced off the post. Norfolk's up the wing, controlling play now. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Pass cut, strong play. It all alone, off the goal post. Score! And it's a one-goal game. He had people chasing him down on a breakaway, but he found a way to score. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Toledo's gotten a goal here to get back to within a single goal with lots of time left in the game. We're still in the second. And they've won the faceoff. Number 25, Josh Challen, assisted by number 20, the goal. Back in his defensive end to get it. Off that right side, he's got a perfect pass. Looks ahead to start something. Moved along and in. That hit somebody. Carries it to the corner. Good attempt, but a weak stick. Terrific opportunity, but it would not go. He missed the net. Not through. Puck out in front. Oh, what a stop. A missed opportunity from this close in. Save! Hey, Doc, give and go hockey. You gotta love it. Locked. Looking to Peary. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. Toledo's in their own end, hopefully shifting from defense to offense here. Gains the zone. They score! And they've tied the game up! Great weight transfer on this slap shot. Oh, he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop. Really good shot, as you mentioned, Eddie. I think that's one he should probably stop. Toledo's got this game tied here late in the second period. Lots of time left, lots of exciting play ahead. Norfolk's collected another victory on the faceoff. Brings a shot, no time to react. Didn't need it, save. You talk about cutting down the angle, perfectly executed by the goaltender. With a blast, got that in the trapper. That slight hesitation by the shooter allowed the goaltender to make a beautiful glove save. Just under three minutes remaining in the second. Game tied at this point, three goals apiece. Walleye's got that win. Let's it go. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. The Admirals control the play in the defensive zone. Up the wing. Oh, wonderful play. Last minute of play. Into the last in minute the of the second period. period. He works it along with a pass off the boards. Terrific hand-eye. Shoots. Shot not too strong. Pad stop.
pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. A tie contest going into the third period. We're underway. Got in the way of that one, too. Puck covered, whistle blown. Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. The Admirals with a clean win on the draw. Stick handles right up the center. Gains the zone. Great job on a cut pass. Shot. He scores! Three straight goals. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. I think he believes he's got the whole net covered, Eddie, but he's left open the low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly. Toledo's broken the tie here in the third period. Let's see what happens before time expires. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Into the attacking end. Scorches one. Behind the net. He's got it. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Tries to get it on net. A terrific shot, but it's answered by the pad. Toledo's got it and moving up the wing. Blocked away. Great poke check. And they've got it again. Gets in. What'll he do? Score! And they've battled back to a tie. Oh, that shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. The butterflies become a default position for the goaltender, Edzo. And while the shot is nice, he's down in that butterfly position way too quickly. Norfolk's gotten the game even, and who knows what will happen next. Somebody's got to break this tie, or we'll do it in OT. Toledo's got it off the draw at center. Turn the shot on net. Chip down. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Norfolk's carrying it on through center ice. Into the end of attack. Carries it to the corner. Shoots it off. Turned away. Glides across. Puck picked up here. Let the shot go. Grabbed. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Hatchets one. Score! From out top, the goaltender had no chance on that slap shot. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. Toledo's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. Norfolk's got that neutral zone faceoff. And in flight over the line. Let's it go. And by number 35, James. Norfolk's on the move up the wing. Keeps it going up the wing. Let's the shot fly. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. A backhand shot. Shot into the pad. The Admirals have it between the blue lines. 
Let's it go. Score! And this one is tied. He shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Matt Marquardt, assisted by number 20. Let's it go. The offense was strong, but the fan had the answer. 12 minutes, 3 seconds. Gains the blue line. Good shooting place. Blocked. Decides he wants the corner. Taken and held at the blue line. Score! My goal, then yours. The defense was a step slow, not able to get in front of that long wrist shot. The goalie's shaking his head. That's a spot on the net that the goalie never wants to be beaten at. He's already in the butterfly. If his glove stays right on his pad, he's going to be able to stop that. Walleye's got the lead by one. And we are in the third period, and a dramatic stage is set. Norfolk's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. By number 28. Gets in. What'll he do? A shot off the mark. You score right there. That puts them away. Just a backhand. What a reaction save. The goalie makes himself look big. Thankfully, a whistle, Doc. You could take a breath. What a save, and they needed that to take the pressure off. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. And they've won that draw. A shot. No! Gains the zone and looks over his options. Right at the net, and he got his pad on it. Puck held near the point. Fires wide. Wonderful chance. Attack zone possession here. Hammered. Oh, and it's off the mark. Toledo's continuing on up the wing. Shoots one and a save. And he'll hold on. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. They won it. Now what can they do? And a save. Let's it fly. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. You know what, Doc? I'd like to see these teams play this way while they're playing instead of after the whistles. Well, for my eye line, I think this is in, guys, but it's an unbelievable stop. It keeps his team in shouting distance of the lead. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. And that one turned aside. He covers and holds on. And coming up is the biggest face-off of this game. They win the draw. Now can they get it out? We are in the 60th minute out of 60. He scores! It's a hat trick. And here they come flying out of the stands. Well, when you talk to goaltenders, they say it's tough to pick up that puck on the backhand. Enzo, he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. Toledo's got another face-off win. Scored by number 10, Shane Bergman. Time of the goal, 19 minutes. Norfolk's continuing to probe up the wing. Goalie is gone, extra man coming on. Good shot, but a better save. Lugged ahead from the defensive zone. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Nice stand-up poke check there. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. And here's Ray. 
Uh, he's been terrific, just like you pointed out in the opening a couple hours ago, where we expected him to be a player that makes an impact on the game. He's had a great night. Here's a look at it. He's been impossible to miss out there, Ray. Toledo's got that one. Now what? Walleye's moving it up the wing. Net open and Cash is in. That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. Neutralized face-off win. Number 11, assisted by number 12. And by number Taking attack here. Point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Locked away in front. Turned aside off the pad. And that's this one. Toledo's recorded a victory, and so the chain gets bigger. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming.